actually about to head to my first ever car meet that I'm hosting here. I don't think a lot of people are gonna show up because I posted it on my Instagram last night at like 9 p.m. Uh, I know one person who's coming, so that's cool, right? Get a little section cut out here because who knows what's gonna happen today. Hopefully we get some action. I've been trying to find a scat pack to race forever, like even since I was in California, and I cannot find anybody. But I'm really excited to go meet up with this <laughs> one person so far. He has a Type R. Maybe we'll just drive around and try to race some random people in Mexico on a Sunday. So out of all places today, we're meeting at Ikea. And, dude, wouldn't that be something if no one was here? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, there he is. It's a beautiful Type R over there. I guess it's just gonna be me and this, this one guy hanging out today, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. Hello, my friend. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? You don't mind being on camera, right? No, that's fine. Okay, cool. Welcome to Tampa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was just pulling up. And I was like, wouldn't that be something if literally no one was here? Because <laughs> I posted it at like, you know, 9 p.m. last night, but... Dane. Dane? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Sorry, this is like covering my yeah, eyes. Yeah, uh, I can only imagine. It's, um, I usually use the GoPro Hero 8, and uh -huh. it's smaller, but I have the 9, and it's, it's like too big. Oh! Carbon FKE? I've been talking to this guy. This guy, this is the guy who's going to paint match my Varus part. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. So, this guy, he's about to tell you, but he is making an absurd amount of power in his Type R. I've, I've been talking to him quite a bit, actually. This is Marat with his Supra. He said he just got it. Dude, what's up, man? Oh my god. I love this. How's it going, man? Nice, nice to meet you. What's your name? Marco. Marco. Yeah. I've been talking to you for like weeks on Instagram. I, I don't even know your name. Marco, you have yourself a pretty wild Type R. Yeah, you sent me the dyno yeah. chart last night. 547 to the wheels. How much torque? It's uh, 430 something, 438. Okay, so you're keeping it pretty safe right. like for the internals. Exactly. Yeah. Who tuned you? Uh, Manolito. He's on Puerto Rico though. Turbo kit. Marco does all of his own painting too, so I just told you that he's gonna paint my Varus parts. Uh, he did this himself. He also did some really cool stuff over here. He paint matched the stock. So these are the stock uh, side skirts, and he paint matched them, which I think looks really good. And then back here, he did something really interesting. He did like a line right here. This is all looks like a gloss black. But you have the performance wing? That's yeah, that's like enormous. Like, Look at that wing compared to ours. I love the white wheels on this. That looks super good. I'm thinking about eventually getting white wheels on the BRZ. So I love that color contrast. <laughs> so Mike here just showed up out of nowhere. He has that RAV4 up there. But he told me that he wished I would have brought the BRZ, which I wasn't expecting anyone to say today, but. Uh, Mike ordered a 2023, yeah. and you said it's not going to be here till when? September. September. From Daytona, oh, yeah. That's going to be such a long wait, dude. Yeah. But I've, I've seen so many videos on YouTube, I feel like I already know the car, so. Yeah, but you said you have to. Mike said he hasn't seen one in person yet. No. I've seen a bunch of these already. Have you? I, I have like two more in my neighborhood. Yeah, damn. So I will bring my beer Z to my next okay. gathering that I do yeah. and I'll give more of a heads up I only gave like a yeah I found out last night so yeah up. yeah and then we'll, we'll go for riding that's awesome yeah. that'd be awesome yeah, yeah we've been talking for a bit there's a lot to discuss between all of our cars but Dane here he has the smoked v2 tail lights so that's what the smoke looked like right and then we can see what the clear ones look like right here and Marco was telling me that a lot of people who have the smoke ones say that they wish they would have gotten the clear. And now that I'm seeing the clear, 
and the smoke ones in person, I think I am going to get the clear because they're, they're still a little more tinted than the stock ones. Now that I'm looking at the stock ones next to these moving tail lights, I, I, I need to get the moving tail lights as well. Also, a really cool touch with these Supros is that the inside of the hood is painted and clear coated. Whereas ours, the Type R, it, it's not. <laughs> you can see it looks really flat. Let's rock and roll, boys. Dane has the AWE touring exhaust. And I can't remember if he said he has a downpipe or not. Marco has a Catless downpipe and I believe the Gretti DDR exhaust. Oh, those taillights are awesome. stage 2 tune just like I do except I have the street revision I was slacking Marco's 547 horsepower big turbo type R just gave that super the sauce pretty good Shit, Dane. Guys, uh, I'm noticing that I think my motor mounts are starting to go. Just when I get on and let off the throttle, this thing is, it feels like it's rocking pretty hard. Wasn't a huge fan of the looks when those first came out. The sound. That's what I was talking about this whole time, guys. That blow off valve. You just got your deceleration perfectly. That sounded so good. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a downpipe? Yeah. Which one? The high flow, the five inch one. Right. So it's a catted? Yeah. Okay. That sounds really good, man. I think I spun that time. That's impressive. Tires are all warmed up. Dude, I want to race that Supra. I want, I'm trying to, dude. Uh, I think I went to like 6,500. 78 stock cams. Wow. 
I thought you needed upgraded camshafts to go over like 7,500. Was he about to get me or not? I, I don't know what was gonna happen. Ooh, dude, my heart is pumping right now. off like a split second after me. Look how pretty this is. I don't know where we are. We're somewhere in the bay. So. <laughs> I think if the white truck wasn't there, you end up pulling. Dude, we have the same tune. Yeah, but you have the intercooler. Oh, that's right. So, and on a hot day like this, that probably makes a big difference. Yeah, and I was trying to keep up with big boy over here, so. Yeah, dude, his car is nuts. What do you think, Murat? That was fun. I'm on three so far for my life. Oh, this, this is the very first time you've ever, like, yeah. <laughs> raced. I'm not gonna say we're racing, but uh, you know what I mean. And hey, those are those are pretty good, man. Were you were you doing the paddle shifting or were you just letting no, it? I was just letting go. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's my problem. I gotta learn how to do the paddle shifters. Were you in? You have different modes too, right? You have like a normal mode and a yeah, sport I'm a mode. Yeah, sport. I was in sport mode. You were in sport. Okay. That was so much fun. Thank you, Dane, Marat, and Marco for coming out. And also Mike with the CRV. He was a nice guy. I think this is exactly what I need, boys. I needed to have like my own get together and meet new people. That's that's really what I needed to get back into the swing of things. So tomorrow, uh, this is gonna be another video, but tomorrow I'm gonna bring the Varus parts over to Marco. Uh, he works for Caliber Collision over here in Riverview. Lots of cool videos coming this week. And thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. I've been away for another two weeks when I said I wasn't going to do that again. Uh, I'm having some medical issues. Heart disease runs in my family. It's on my mom's side. My grandfather has had, I think, six brothers who have all died from heart disease. Uh, so here's what happened. Exactly two weeks ago, two Sundays ago, I went to the gym in the morning. I hadn't taken my Adderall yet. I don't like to take that before I exercise because it kind of, you know, spikes your heart rate a little bit and about 25 minutes in I was doing chest and back I started to feel really really tired and like I felt like I could lay down and go to bed for the night and that was at like 9 30 in the morning so I knew something was feeling kind of weird I ended up only doing 35 minutes and my body just felt weird so I went home and I was so tired got home and I was drinking some BCAAs and my left arm out of nowhere just starts like throbbing. Like you could s visibly see it like throb. So I said, Vivian, like, look at my arm. What the, what the hell is this? Then I saw my doctor on Tuesday. I told him about that. I was working out pretty hard because I had a PT test I was supposed to do on Wednesday. For those of you who don't know, in the military, you have to do regular PT tests. So they did an EKG and he was looking at my EKG, comparing it to one I had on file from 2020 and 2018. And he's like, uh, and then he starts asking a bunch of questions and I answer them honestly. And then he's like, okay, I'm referring you to a cardiologist. You're not doing your PT test tomorrow. And I tried to argue with him. I was like, no, I mean, I, I feel like I can do it. And he's like, you're not doing your PT test tomorrow. I'm like, okay. And he told me not to do 
didn't work out the rest of that week. So fast forward to one week ago, last Sunday, I tried going to the gym again. This time, I made it 22 minutes, and then my chest started to feel really tight. And for like a minute, I felt like I couldn't catch my breath, and I wasn't even working out that hard. So I went home, uh, same thing, I felt really tired. My left arm wasn't twitching or anything, but my chest felt tight. And I've never experienced that before. But I didn't feel like I was gonna die, so I didn't go to urgent care, the emergency room or anything like that. So anyway, I don't know what's going on. I called the doctor's office Monday after that happened, after the second thing happened, and they told me to not exercise at all until I see the cardiologist. They didn't say anything about the Adderall, so it doesn't directly affect the heart, but inadvertently it does affect your heart a little bit. I'm not a doctor, so I can't self-diagnose, but I did look up like heart inflammation, and there's a word for that. Um, due to the current, you know, restrictions on the internet, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word. So I'm seeing the cardiologist this coming Friday in six days. I haven't worked out once, and I feel like a gross piece of crap. All I've been doing is eating, because when you come off of Concerta or Adderall, that drug suppresses your appetite when you're taking it. And when you come off, which I've done two times before in my life, you have the biggest appetite in the world. You just cannot stop eating. So that's all I've been doing the past week is eating because I took it upon myself to stop taking my Adderall last Wednesday. So it's only been five days. I've been eating everything in front of me. while also not being able to exercise. Well, really hope you enjoy that video. I'm probably gonna title this, you know, Toon Civic Type R versus Supra because I had two runs versus the Supra. Uh, but thanks again, guys, for coming out. That, that was awesome. Look at this little cat. Cleo. Charlie gets jealous. Yes, I give you lots of loving today, baby. I give you lots of lovings. Look at this cat, dude. Are you the best little cat in the world, huh? You're the best little cat in the world. Thank you for the kiss. I really want a new guitar. I think I'm gonna go to Guitar Center, like maybe today, and order. So I have an Epiphone. Les Paul standard here. It was great when I first got it. I think it either needs to be like rewired or something because it just doesn't sound right. So I'm looking at the new Epiphone Les Paul Moderns. I think they're like 700 bucks for the color that I want. And yeah, if I get that guitar, I will show you guys a little bit. I don't know a lot of cool songs and I don't really know how to play that well, but I'll show you anyway. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon guys.